Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Kevin Bear, and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a tutorial on how to solve the Kilomix. So before we get started on the Kilomix, I want to go ahead and tell you guys to please make sure you check out how to solve a Megaminx, and if you guys haven't already, how to solve a 3x3, because a lot of the knowledge from learning the Kilomix will come from those videos. But if you guys don't know how to do it, then I will try my best to show you how to do it in this video as well, but I can't make any guarantees. Just know how to solve those before moving on to this tutorial. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first basic thing that I want to talk about is basic cube notation, and it's very simple for this tutorial. It's just going to be to do an R, just an R. It's a two by two, so you only have one realistic layer to move. So if you hold it like this, so if you hold it like this, this is an R, this is an R prime, U, U prime, L, L prime. The basic gist of it, that's that's how it's gonna go. So let's go ahead and start this off by scrambling our kilomings. So let's go ahead and scramble it up right now. All right, so now that our gigamings, kilomings, so now that our kilomings is scrambled, the first thing that we wanna do is you wanna go ahead and look for white pieces. We're gonna start off by making the first white side. And to do that, we're gonna look for around for white pieces. And here's one right here, I'll start off with this corner. So the first thing you wanna do is start off with a corner, any side, pick any side. This is an even layered puzzle, so it doesn't matter what side you use, just make sure you have a side and I will pick one any side. I generally like to start one that has a white side already on it. So this is already, so in my, in my context, this is already solved. So let's go ahead and solve for other pieces. Let's look around. So you can see that the green and the green should be here. There should be a green side by side. I'm going to insert it just like that. And I'm going to insert this piece just like that as well. So making the white side isn't all that difficult. The only thing that's Really, the only thing that you only have to worry about is because because this is only the white side, there's not that much you have to really keep in mind of. So the whole premise of this is to just insert it as if they were corners on a Mega Minx. If you know how to solve a Mega Minx, it's basically like when you finish the star on the white side and then you put in the corners. This is basically it right here. You just put in the corners on that side. And that's all we're doing. We're just putting in corners on this side. So to put in a corner piece inside of the white side, you just want to do whatever side it is. You want to move it up, move the white piece where it wants to go right here, and then move it down. And then that'll get you to what you need to do. So let's go ahead and look around. And then now what we're going to do, now here's where it's going to get different. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look for these pieces right here, the pieces that go here, 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 and here. And what those pieces look like is a piece like this. Actually, this is the right piece that's supposed to go there, except that it's flipped. So the next step for us is to look for the pieces that have both the red and the blue, and then there will be a pink on it. And so I know it's pink because on a regular Mega Minx, there's the pink side here, and then at the bottom, it's the red and the blue. And that's exactly what we have in the situation. So in order to flip it, we're going to put it like that with the pink like this and we're just going to align it so it's like on one of these sides and we're going to move it down by doing an F. And what that does is that that orients that piece to go in there like that. And we want to do that for the next one. So you can see you can see right here that there's the piece that we want. It's the cream and there's the red and the green which is these two. So you want to move it down. And that's what it does right there. The next one is the green and the purple. So let's look around for a green and purple piece. It's right here. So we can see that in this situation, the piece that we want is on this side and we want to move it over to uh, this side right here. So it's just right across from there. And instead of doing, instead of moving it like this, we don't want to do that. We want to first move this piece up here onto the gray side, the top layer opposite of the white. So you want to, we want to move it opposite to the white to this side. And the reason for that is because we have work that we've done already. We have done work here and we've done work here. We don't want to mess that up by moving different pieces. And that's why we're doing that in this situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move this piece to where it needs to go. Right. So here is where the baby blue side will be. And there's the green and the purple. So let's do an F until we get it there. So now we can see we have this one, this one, and this one solved. Now we just need to do these two. And this one looks like it's gonna go here, but let's go ahead and find the purple. Here's the purple. Here is the orange that's going to go right there. And here's the red and the, here is the purple and the yellow. And we're gonna move it down like that. And that's how we wanna do it. And here's the yellow and blue. So we wanna move it to the light green side, which will be this side. Then we're gonna move it down like that. And what that does is that that solves 
the next, the sort of middle layer. So to recap how to solve the kilomings so far, what we've done, we've solved for the white side by solving, we've solved for the white side by solving all the corners. Then we added these pieces that are extensions of it. They have the same color and they define what color goes here. So you can see that each piece has their own dignified color. So this side will be the pink side because we've put it here. They connect like that. This will be the cream side. This will be the baby blue and so on. And now what we're going to do is we are going to put in the corners that go right here. So there's purple right there. So that's going to go right here. So to insert, you move it up, move this in there and then move it back down. It's a pretty standard alg that I've taught before. All right. So the next piece we have is the yellow right here. So this time it's on the right. So you put it, so to put it in, you want to have it where it's supposed to go. Move it one side, one time to the right because it's on the right side. Move it up, move it back, and then move it down. Just like that. Let's look for some more pieces. Ah, here's one. Blue. Simple. Red. It's going in. Red is going to go here, so. Just like that. And the last one is green. So, have it like this where it's supposed to go down, but if we did the standard algorithm, it wouldn't go in. So there's absolutely no trouble. What you're going to do is you're going to move it exactly on top of where it needs to go. Do an R U to R prime. And now it will be set up so that we can actually do the same algorithm again and it will actually go in. So that's cool. All right. So the next part that we're going to do now is we are going to orientate these corners. So for the last layer, what you want to look for is you want to look for corner pieces that have the same colors as where it's just supposed to be. And I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but he, let me, let me try to, uh, this piece right here is exactly the same as this piece. This piece right here is just as good as this piece. And the reason for that is because these two pieces, they're, they're supposed to be where they're supposed to be. This is the corner. If I were to flip this corner, it would be correct. But if I were to flip this, then it wouldn't be correct. It actually needs to go here, but it's here. So I need to flip that. And I also need to move this piece over here. So how do I do that? First, what you want to do is you want to align one piece like where it's supposed to go like this one. Sometimes you'll get this case. Sometimes you won't. If you have it like this and you move it like this, this is fine too, but I'm going to use this one just because it's simpler for you guys to see. So the step that I'm trying to show here is I'm trying to get this piece right here to go here. And the reason for that is because once I do that, I can use this algorithm I'm about to show you to swap all the corners and basically orient in the last puzzle. So here, let me show you. So the algorithm that I'm going to show you right now is how to flip the corner. So it's going to be U, R, U prime two, L prime, U two, R prime, U prime two, L, U. So you guys can see is that what that has done is that it has kept these two, but it has switched these ones to the left like that. And then what that has done is that it's giving me two corner, two pieces that are correctly in their spot. And once I have that, you want to stay on these two and then you want to do it again until these ones are solved. So let's do it. It's going to be, here's the algorithm one more time. U, R, U prime two, L prime, U two, R prime, U prime two, L, U. So let's see. All right. These are not in the correct spot yet. So let's do it one more time. U, wait, is that you? Yeah. U, R. U prime two, L prime, U two, R prime, U prime two, L, U. So let's see what it has done. And the pieces are where they're supposed to be. So now that the pieces are where they're supposed to be like this. Now we're going to flip them. We're going to orient them so they are flipping on each side. If you know how to solve a three by three, you probably know this from the beginner's method, but I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. So once it's like this in this position, you want to hold it where the gray is on the left and the white is on the right like this. And you want to do this algorithm. U, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. Now what that has done is that it has solved this corner. And once it is solved, we're just going to move this layer only until we have another unsolved piece. And you're going to stay like this. Do not move around. Stay here and just only move this side when you need to. Now that we have it like this, we're going to do it again. U prime, R prime, U, R, 
u prime r prime u r. And what that does is that it successfully solves the last layer by permuting all the corner pieces. Let me go over the last layer one more time just in case it was a little bit confusing. So here we are in the last layer. It's completely unsolved. And what we want to do is once again look for a corner piece that's supposed to be where it's supposed to be. It's right here. And then we're going to perform the algorithm that switches these three and keeps these two. U, R, U prime 2, L prime, U2, R prime, L prime 2, L, U. So you can see that it has done, uh, actually it has done something. Here's what you want to look out for. When performing this algorithm, the things that you want to look out for is looking for pieces that are solved. These two are solved. If I move them, it this this piece is solved because it has the correct colors on this corner. It has the green, pink, gray. Green, pink, gray has them. This one has pink, cream, gray, but it, they're flipped, but they're correct. This is considered a correct spot. Once you have two that are in the correct spot, keep them in front of you and then do the algorithm again until the rest of them look like that. And in this situation, the rest of them do look like that. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. They're all correct. It's just that the gray is not going up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to permute it. Once we have it like this, where all the pieces are like that, you don't, don't worry if this is like this and it's not solved. You're going to make it solved right now. We just want to have them in their right spot so we can flip them and put them in the correct spot. So hold it with gray facing left, white facing right. We're going to do U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R. And what that has done is that it's flipped it. Now only use the, you only use the gray side and move it. Keep staying here and perform it again. U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R. Keep going again. We have two more to go. U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R. Last one. U prime R prime U R U prime R prime U R. Then you just orientate the last layer, and there we go. The kilomings is solved. Uh, I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you guys. I'll be going over, leave any comments down below, and I'll definitely help you guys out. If I have a lot of questions on this tutorial, uh, I will make a follow-up video on clarifying anything that I may have done wrong in this tutorial. I think it was pretty straightforward. Once again, if it was not as in detail as you thought it was going to be, go to, you can use my reference videos, you can reference videos on how to solve a 3x3 three three and a Mega Minx, and that will definitely help you understand what I'm doing here. But it's the same premise. I think you can solve it just by looking at what I was doing. I've done plenty of examples. But that is about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped out, leave a like and let me know if you were able to solve it. But that is about it for this video, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video. It's the Cuban Bar out. Peace out, guys.